Hey guys, welcome back. I said I'd be back with the review of what I ordered this week. Uh, still pretty stoked about Christmas. <laughs> um, what did I wear this week? Uh, for those of you who watched last week, know it was uh, said um, it's it's like Scuderia Ferrari Red. I'm just calling it Ferrari Red from now on because yeah, I'm pretty sure I butchered the hell out of that. Like fucking Jack the Ripper butchered it. Like, just tore it apart. <laughs> Not Italian. Never happened. Hell, I'm pretty sure if I if I didn't know the word Ferrari already, I'd probably mess that up too. But like, Sucaderia Ferrari Red. <laughs> and so would you. <laughs> anyway. That's the box, guys. Just the Ferrari logo and official product number and, and the batch code and scanning thing and all that jazz on there. You know, for cheapies, Ferrari really takes pride in their stuff. I mean, of course they was Ferrari, but their sites aren't too bad either. And this one's no exception. It's just that's the box. That's the bottle. In the Ferrari logo, the second the Ferrari. Um, it's real hard to see because it's like a faint, almost see-through etching, but it's, it's there. You can kind of see it. And that gives you all your batch code and stuff if you're interested in that shit. Um, not a bad bottle, actually. Really nice bottle. I didn't like this at first. I didn't do it. Hold on. When I first bought it months ago, I let that kind of dry off a bit. Let's see if I can. Um, ooh, I like it now though. Uh, when I first got it, I just I was wearing a lot of sweet things, and I didn't like it. So, but I love it now. Mm -hmm. It's kind. Of, it's a barbershop kind of scent, but when I say barbershop, here in uh, North America, we think of things that are heavy in lavender and sandalwood, talcum powdery type thing. Uh, Italy, from what I know, and if you're Italian, correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I, the research I could do, which was basically Google, <laughs> a barbershop over there is more citrusy. Um, musky and citrusy and, and, and things like that uh, aromatic um, more floral without a lot of lavender um, think of uh, stuff like Parasso Green the aftershave that kind of vibe um, really starting to get into them I'm going to buy a few more stuff like that when I find them uh, stuff like uh Aqua de Parma, uh, Colonia, um, Aqua Ascenza by Salvador Ferragamo, stuff like that. That, that, that classic Italian, what they would consider more of a barbershop than what we would. Uh, it's very regionalized, like in, in France, it's more, uh, again, just from the research I could do, their barbershop scent seems to be more uh, closer to this. A little, little bit uh, more powdery, but a lot more floral. Uh, in England, it's very much the same as ours in North America, but instead of a lot of sandalwood and stuff, they use more of a leather base. So, regional. This is like a combination of like that classic Italian barbershop with the classic North American barbershop. It's got the combination of the two. It's got stuff from both the heavy on the citrus <laughs> and the light florals, like the, the jasmine and the geranium. I get into it. Hold on. Uh, so this is 2010. It's about when I got it, I think. <laughs> I didn't like it at first. Um, uh, classified as a citrus aromatic. Accords are citrus, woody. Fresh, spicy, aromatic, green. Um, pretty much is. 
top notes. All fucking citrus. Bergamot, mint, orange, lemon, verbena, pedigree, galbania. <laughs> it's pretty much all citrus. Uh, it is jasmine, geranium, orris, and nutmeg. Um, the base is the cedar, <laughs> sandalwood, moss, and vanilla. Um, that's where the base, where it really resembles more of a, what we would call a classic barbershop scent. Um, in its base, halfway through the mid and base. Because the, the, the ores and geranium kind of give it a bit of a powdery vibe. Right off the top, too. So they're, they're saying it's in the mid, but it's kind of right off the top. You know, sometimes that happens. It's a citrusy, floral, powdery, woody, tiny bit sweet. I mean, you have to kind of date real... And then the sweetness kind of hits you in the back of the neck, you know, back of the throat. Um, not bad at all. Um, if you like that kind of scent, uh, it's not going to change your mind if you don't. It's it's just not. It's, it's, it is what it is. Um, yeah, one moment, guys. Sorry, the camera was running out of juice. Um... So I'm going to end this because I already did that video Christmas uh, compliments. Um, nothing major. Uh, like I said, it smells citrusy and clean. Um, nobody really gave me any compliments, but when I asked everybody, they said it was nice. So I just really like it. I like that style. Um, it uh, Definitely for me, if you like a barbershop or them classic Italian cologne scents, then you're going to love it. Um, like I said, you get all the citrus right off the top, and the jasmine and forest off the top, and the geranium, and then it dries into that nice woody base. Um, classic all the way from start to finish. Uh, longevity. Got about six hours out of it, which isn't bad for such a heavy citrus-based scent. Uh, projection was really well, but I'd expect that for a good hour because of the citruses. Then it kind of sits pretty, pretty close, but it's still there. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give this quick one out, guys. It's, it's getting late, and I just spent all that time doing that other video. So I'm getting tired, as you can tell. Um, like I said, though, if, if you like classic Italian barbershop scents, or classic American, North American barbershop scents. This one's kind of like a mix of the two, and it's really good. Uh, like I said, Ferrari is kind of underrated. They make a really good cologne when they make it. They really do. Um, so that's it, guys. Again, Merry Christmas. I probably won't see you until at least next week. Um, I hope you just get everything you want, need, all that stuff. Plenty of family, friends, and food. I wish nothing but the best for everyone. Yes, I do. And that's everybody. Guys, peace, love, be good to each other.